Okay, let's briefly explore building a house using SketchUp. I'll now move fairly quickly, so feel free to pause the video and go do things over in SketchUp and practice them and rewind the video as needed. I'm going to start by building a rectangle, so let's do that. Uh, you can find the rectangle tool over on the menus, or you can press the letter R. Click the origin and drag the direction you'd like it to go in. For a standard house in North America, we're looking at about maybe 15 meters by about 25 meters, something like that. Um, so I noticed I just started dragging to the side, but then didn't move my mouse, just moved my hands to the keyboard and started to type. Typed in 15M, 25M, and then hit enter. And this gives me a nice big platform to work from. Um, we're going to want to give the floor a little bit of volume, so I'm going to go to the push-pull tool, or press the letter P. Bring my mouse over the surface so it's dotted, and click once. Drag upwards, and we're going to put in about, uh, I don't know, 10 or 20 centimeters for the, the base. So let's maybe do 20 centimeters, 20 cm, and enter. Gives me some volume. Next step is to make some exterior walls, so let's do that. I'm going to press P for uh, our... I actually want to go to the offset tool here or use F for offset. So either way, it gets us to this tool. You can then click and then drag inwards and I want to do about 10 centimeters. That gives us a standard wall and not depending where you are. I think British Columbia code now is a little bit bigger than this, but let's just keep it thin for our sake. And we'll move in on that and push pull that one up. And that's letter, using the letter P again, remember? Standard house height is about 2.5 meters. Let's go 3M just for a little bit bigger ceiling. Feels kind of a little bit bigger. And the next thing. So we've got our walls. We can build some rooms. So one way we can do that is just to go make a rectangle. Drag inwards. And let's just uh, choose how big we want our room to be. Maybe I'll make it 5 by 4 meters. So 5M, comma 4M. It's a fairly decent, that's uh, a fairly small room. How about we go um, no, 6, 8 or something like that. 6M, 8M to make sure we d specify these are in meters. Now that's a really big room, but that's okay. And the next step then is for me, I'm just going to pick these two lines. This one, I'm going to hold down Shift and click the other line. And that makes those blue. If I, if I make a mistake and click in here, just click it a second time while you're holding down shift and it'll get rid of it. So I'm going to press escape. I'm going to pick that line, hold down shift, and click that line. The two are blue. Now I can press F for offset. Click the line. Move inwards. Oh, it went the wrong way. So just press Control Z. Do it again. This is the one situation where I do have to click and hold and move inwards. And then let go. And then type in 10 cm and hit enter and it adjusts it for me so i can then once again zoom in get the surface with my push pull tool the letter p make sure it's dotted bring it up and sketchup is interested where your mouse is so you just have to bring it up to the edge and then click or onto the top surface and it'll match it up to that line as long as you bring your mouse touch the edge and it'll bring it up let's make some doors doors look like this we just make a rectangle somewhere where we'd like to have our door Click the bottom edge, drag up so you can see it's on the wall there, and then type in 1M, 2M, and it'll make our doors. If I was to try to print this or even use this, there's I didn't actually re remove anything, so I need to actually push-pull this through, so use the push-pull tool again, letter P, click on the dotted surface, and touch the back edge, or rotate around using the middle mouse wheel and click on this back edge, and that will give you an open doorway. You can do the same thing for, let's say, a front door. If I wanted to have a door on the exterior wall, or even if I wanted to have more than one door, I just click on the bottom edge, drag it up to say which way I want. 1M, 2M in my typing. And there we go. I'll push pull again. And click the outside surface, and now I have doors. The last thing, you can add as many rooms as you'd like, make your configuration how you'd like it. And you can also paint, so use the paint bucket. There are standard colors, and if you choose the search, there are lots of other options. So we have carpet here. Maybe I wanted to add some fancy carpet to the floor. Oh, but this room is different. Let's make it a different carpet. Let's use this one. How about... And I can add some paint. So I'll close this by clicking on it. Choose my colors. 
Oh, let's use this like a, a muted kind of a beige. I actually don't know if that's beige. That someone else can tell me that. Who's the art people? And you can see what I'm doing. I'm just clicking on the surfaces. This room needs to be also beige, but I want one accent wall that's like nice and bright blue because that's, I don't know, might be nauseous, but there we go. And you can see what I'm doing. On the outside, we can choose lots of options. Uh, close our color menu, go back to brick and cladding. I could have a brick house. And if I was to zoom in, I can see it looks like brick. And so that's kind of fun. Uh, the last thing we should look at is quickly being able to explore this. So uh, you'd want to save this at some point so you don't lose your work. But let's just walk around for a minute. I'm going to hit the walk tool. I'm going to place my camera right here in the front door. If I'm on the eyeball tool, I can just hold my left mouse button down and just kind of slide around and look. I can see that I'm by the doorway. Keep sliding it around. And so I have my eyeball tool. If I want to walk around, I can choose then the walking tool. And this one, all you have to do is hold the left mouse button down. If you move upwards, you'll go forwards, and if you move, choose left, you'll go left and right. And if I go back to here, I can go forwards, and I can go walk into this room. And I can see what it would be like to be inside here if I wanted to. Like that, and then take a hard left, and it'll turn me in the room. If I want to look up and down, I have to go to the eyeball tool. So there you go. So you can build your house and walk around inside of it. All right. I hope that you're able to follow that and have a little bit of fun while you're building.